Um, a couple things. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are members of the federal Liberal Party who wish they were on that beach in the Cayman Islands right about now. Oh, boy. Um, you know, listen, the polling in this country in terms of our, our Prime Minister and Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives and the Liberals, it's been really interesting for a while. But Abacus data, who normally don't break it down by projected seats, they yesterday kind of said, you know what, to heck with it. And they combined a lot of polls, and they've been doing this for a while, and the numbers they threw out yesterday basically would say if an election happened at this very moment in this country, Pierre Polyev would have the biggest win we've seen since Jean Chrétien's first majority in 1993. That's the level of despair. And we can debate on why the despair is there for Justin Trudeau and this federal government. But there is no denying, Meredith Shaw, that at this time, and again, we technically are not going to have an election until the fall of 2025, but there's no way the power brokers in that party, whoever they may be, and they exist, are not having serious conversations behind the scenes, asking themselves, so, so what happens now? Because really, there's nowhere to go but up. Mm -hmm. So if you're in team Justin Trudeau, you're like, I got this. Because he's come back before from bad deficits, nothing like this. When you see those numbers and you're in his orbit, what are you thinking? Well, I think you hold on to the key phrase there that if an election was held today, this would be the result. An election is not going no. to be held today. So there is time to change those numbers. And I think that would be what the Liberals would be holding on to at this point. We have had, and we've had discussions on the show, there have been a few different poll numbers. Of course, you've got to take them all. A timing. A timing has a lot to do with when the polls are taken, obviously, and, and how people are feeling. And so you have to take that with, with the, the context that it deserves. But the trend has been this way. And like you say, those numbers are, are pretty staggering to look at on a screen like that, black and white. I mean, that is a... Like there, th that's not just a that's not just a smidgen. No, <laughs> I mean that's three times, four times. Like yeah. there were parts of this Tons poll, of and they went province to province and area to area of the country. There are there are parts of this poll that tell you the Green Party in Atlantic Canada are close to overtaking the Liberals, which is stunning because the Green Party historically can't organize a coffee order, let alone be ahead of the Liberals in a poll. I'm serious. Watch the last like, couple elections. So that alone, to me, is a serious, serious issue. Again, the, the main point is we're not having an election today. You're right. No. We're not doing that yet. The problem, though, is this does affect fundraising. The problem is this does affect momentum, specifically in the House of Commons. We just saw last week the NDP vote with the Conservatives about giving everyone a carbon tax break. I can't remember the last time the NDPs and the Conservatives in my lifetime. That was lifetime, an interesting pairing. Right? That was an interesting... Uh, Strange. Yeah, siding together on something. And I, I think, too, it's... It's the fact that there's some dissatisfaction about things getting over the line. We need to have a government on whatever side you're voting on that somehow is able to bring the powers that be together enough to be able to move things forward so that, that action can be taken as opposed to just the discussion that keeps to seemingly be happening. Yeah. yeah. The, I mean, as we hit 8 o'clock here, I just want to close with this because these numbers have been bad for the Liberals for most of the summer into this fall. They have shuffled their cabinet. It didn't work. They have tried to finally get into the housing discussion after, after our prime minister said it's not a federal issue. That's on record. Look at it. It hasn't worked. And the whole time, Polyev is chipping away, chipping away, chipping away at a very simple message. Your life isn't as good as it should be right now. It's a very simple, very easily communicated message. And it's hitting home because everyone's feeling it in certain ways. This is the type of story, Mayor, I'm telling you, like Christmas Eve at 6 o'clock, we get an email saying the Liberals are making a change or something like this feels to me like a major move politically in this country could happen just like that on a Friday news dump or like a Christmas Eve news dump that affects all of us because these numbers are that bad. I've, I've never seen a sitting prime minister in this type of position, but back to the point. It's not election day yet, at least not yet in this country. 801, you're watching BT.